fun playgroup. This is Angela with Creative License. I am here today to do our secret pizza party. Um, I know the words are backwards for you, but they won't be for me. So when I read this, it's okay. Um, so we're gonna start by reading our book, but we are also going to be painting a plate today. So if you don't have one of our ceramic plates, that's okay. You can also use a white plate instead. Um, the paint colors that you will need for this are brown, dark red, a regular red, and then yellow. So as I'm reading, if you don't have those colors handy, um, feel free, go ahead and get that together. It'll take about 10 minutes for me to read our story today. Um, so I'll start by reading the story and then we'll go through the painting project. Um, so the secret pizza party is from the creators of Dragon's Love Tacos. Um, so we will start with the first page. It's by Adam Rubin. Poor raccoon, all he wants in life is some pizza. See the raccoon? If he only knew how to ask politely. Ah, pizza, so beautiful you could hang it on the wall of a museum. So convenient you could eat it in the bathtub. See the pizza on the wall of the museum? It's an art museum. And there's someone eating pizza in the bathtub. Kind of crazy. Of course, the best part about pizza is the ooey gooey, cheesiness, salty pepperoniness, sweet, sweet tomatoness, and crispity, crunchity crust. Yum. Sorry, raccoon, I didn't mean to rub it in. Hey, cheer up. I just had a great idea. Let's throw a pizza party at your house tonight. Shh, don't tell anyone. This will be a secret pizza party. I know what you're thinking. Why would we keep such a delicious, delicious party a secret? Okay, sure. It's so folks don't show up to bonk you with brooms. But that's not the only reason. When you make something secret, you make it special. Regular handshake, boring. Secret handshake, booyah. Regular staircase, tiring. Secret staircase, terrific. Regular pizza party, get that raccoon off the table. Secret pizza party, get that raccoon another slice of pizza. He's the guest of honor. Hot diggity dog, our pizza party is going to be so much fun. Call the pizza man and tell him to bring over his absolute finest pizza pie. Hang on a minute. You don't want the delivery guy to know where you live. He might recognize you from the posters and chase you off with a broom. Think, raccoon, think. Okay, now play it cool. You're just an honest pizza buying citizen who left his wallet in the car. The pizza man thinks you'll be right back. I've planned the perfect getaway route. Around the broom factory, over the broom enthusiast club, past the raccoon sniffling broom bots. Wait a second, raccoon sniffing broom bots? Uh-oh. Run, raccoon, run like the wind. Phew, made it. Let's 
barricade the doors and pop open that pizza box. Mmm. Secret pizza party. Oops, I said that kind of loud. Sorry, pizza smells give me the happy screams. Try not to crunch too loud. Definitely no high-fiving or music or dancing. In fact, we'd better turn off the lights and whisper just to be safe. Secret pizza party. What's the matter? Sweet sassy molassy, look at all that pizza. Clearly these people are much better at throwing parties than they are at keeping secrets. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Okay, you're in, just play it cool. No one suspects a thing. They all have masks on, ha <laughs> ha, just like the raccoon. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Secret pizza party, and he's chased by brooms. The end. All right, so, oh, I should show you the back. Wanted for pizza theft. I love the back. The back is my favorite. <laughs> so, we are going to start painting our plate. I'm going to show you guys how to paint the ceramic plate but you can do the same thing with a paper plate. This one's upside down because I have color on one side, but you, I'm gonna do the back side of it so you guys can kind of see. Um, so, plate to start. The first thing we're going to start with is a brush and our brown paint, and you are going to take, and you are going to paint the rim of your plate brown. So the rim part, and you don't have to be very careful with it. It's okay if you go over a little bit. It's art. We don't have to worry about perfection here. So it's kind of hard to do this on camera. And we only need to do one coat with this. I should probably turn, there we go. That'll help a little. Then you guys can see what I'm doing as I'm painting it. You want a lot of paint on your brush. I always tell people, if you hear your brush on your piece, you need more paint. I probably don't need to tell kids that we need more paint, but adults probably need to hear we need more paint. Most kids know how much paint to put on. They're usually pretty good about getting a lot on. All right, voila, my rim is done. Now we are going to paint the center part with our dark red, or not our dark red, but our deep red. It'll look a little lighter, so if you look at the two reds together, one looks more purpley and one looks more like kind of pinkish red. We want the pinkish red or the one that has more in it. And we're going to paint the center part with that red. And we can just put it on. Doesn't have to be too exact. You can cover up your brown a little bit if you want when you're doing it. If I'm going too quick, it's okay. You can always pause this. You can rewind it. You can always shoot me a text and be like, hey, what do we do after we paint the crust of the pizza brown? <laughs> I willingly answer any questions. So if you guys have any questions at all, even if they're just like related to like art class for school, you're doing virtual art class for school and you have a question for me, I would be happy to answer those questions. Um, most of the time your teachers are too, so you can go to your teacher as well.
But if your teacher's not available and you have a question about, you know, an art technique, hey, does, does acrylic paint wash off of glass? Can I paint my front window with acrylic paint? Yes, it does, believe it or not. Um, I wouldn't leave it on for more than a month, but it will wash off. Okay, so next up, now that we have our rim and we have the inside, we are going to take our sponge. So if you got our kit, you will get a sponge that looks like this and a sponge that looks like this. The sponge we want to use first is the yellow sponge that looks like it was kind of like cut into a quarter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip it into our yellow paint here and we are going to cover up our red by just going down and up. We don't wanna wipe, we wanna go down and up with our yellow. And as your sponge starts to dry up, you'll add more yellow paint to it you can go all the way to the rim of your plate if you want. Start in the center once you dip in the paint and then go toward the edge because the edge would be thinner then. Because have you guys ever seen a pizza? It always seems to me, and this is one of my biggest beefs about some of the pizza places, they put a lot of cheese in the center and then the outside has no cheese sometimes. So when I get pizza, like if I get a take-home pizza, I'll spread the cheese out to the edges. I know, kind of weird, hey? But so, start in the center and work your way to the edge because then you'll get that, that effect of the cheese thinning out as you get to the edge. So that's what it looks like. Mine is kind of messy. I didn't overlap all of my red with yellow. That's okay. You don't have to. Some of the sauce is coming through. But see, so that's what mine looks like. And then our next step, I'm going to let that phone ring, is to take our dotting sponge, our blue dotting sponge, dip it into our paint. And you will want to find something, like a paper towel or something, to dab this on. Because do you see how much paint I have on that? That's a lot. So I'm going to use my paper plate. You can use a, a paper towel, a napkin, just to dab a little bit off so it's not so thick. And this is going to be used to make our pepperonis because pepperoni pizza is my favorite. So we're going to take this and we're going to go straight down on the plate and we're going to push down and we're going to give it a little tiny turn, just a little bit. And then we're going to lift up and it'll make a perfect round dot. And then we'll go back into our paint. So we go into our paint every time we make a pepperoni. And then we're going to go back down onto our plate. And you can overlap some of your pepperonis if you want. If you like a lot of pepperonis, you can put a lot of pepperonis on your plate. If you don't like so many pepperonis, you can only do one. Um, I like a lot of pepperonis, so I'm going to do at least five or six. And have you ever seen a pizza? Like, they don't care where they put the pepperonis. Neither do we. I'm going to put this pepperoni right here. Right next to the other one. See? They don't care where they put their pepperonis. I'm going to put one on the edge. I think we're going to do one more, and then I'm going to be done with our pepperonis. Woohoo! Okay, I lied. I want one more on this edge here. Because I really like pepperonis. And then every slice has a pepperoni. Okay, so this is what my plate looks like once it's all been painted. The next thing we're going to do, um, if you have your plate and you're done with it, which is good, we're going to let it dry. So if you got the kit from us, you will want to let this dry for eight hours. Then you can wrap it back up in the paper that we gave you and put it back in the bag. Give us a call so we know you're dropping it off and then you can drop it off by us.
Um, so if you're looking for us, if you haven't been to Creative License before, we are located right across the street from Ashley Furniture on Capitol Drive. So we are in the, um, the little shopping center where Craft Beer Cellars is and Waterstone Bank. So you can find us there. Um, we do paint your own pottery, fused glass, canvas painting, wood painting. Right now we are doing to-go kits that you can order online. Um, our shop website or um, the store that you can get everything online is at creativelicensewi.shopsettings.com. If you go there, you can order your kits. You can schedule a pickup of your kits. Um, you can get everything in there, including paint and brushes, um, and you're ready to go. So um, I'm not sure when we'll be opening up for regular customers again. Um, hang tight, watch us on Facebook, watch our website. Um, we will certainly announce when we'll be opening up for walk-in traffic again. But you can, generally speaking, when we are open, walk in any time and we are open seven days a week um, generally speaking if there's not a big issue going on with the pandemic um, but anyway i digress so thank you all for joining me today and raccoon for our secret pizza party um, we hope you enjoyed e painting your plate and now I'm going to let you guys go. And I don't know if you have pizza, but I think that sounds like a good lunch. And it's about my lunch time. So I'm gonna go heat up some pizza and uh, eat my pizza. Thank you guys and um, you have a good day and it's in you. Let the art out. <laughs>